Okay, here we go. 650 pages. Fire and Blood. Uh, Fahrenbach. History of Mexico. This book was published in 1973, so, uh, you know, it's not going to cover NAFTA or any of the, any of recent things going on, but this is a, what a fantastic, uh, read. I didn't understand a lot that was going on because I don't know much about Mexico. I didn't know a lot of the, the, uh, place names or locations and stuff uh but it was a great introduction to mexican history and it's very dramatic starting with you know prehistory and then amerindian tribes battling it out for uh control and the aztecs uh brutal brutal regime the aztecs and then the whole, of course, the whole uh, deal with um, Cortez was fan, fantastic and fascinating. There's not a lot of maps. There's a few maps, not many. But um, just such a dramatic history, uh, the revolution. Uh, I still don't really know the difference between a Creole and a Mestizo, but um, I'll probably go back and read this again someday. Um, Fahrenbach's a great writer. There's a lot of wonderful passages. I bookmarked a lot of stuff, uh, made notes, and uh, yeah, I'll probably go back to this book again later on, but... Um, and it helped to watch some YouTube videos and kind of, you know, be able to put some name, fa some faces with the names like, you know, Zapata and Santa Ana and what a diva he was, by the way, Santa Ana. And, uh, of course, uh, Pancho Villa and all the guys, Calle, Sobregon, uh... Porfirio Diaz. Yeah, man. My, you know, my mom used to fly to Mexico back in the 70s and 80s. And she'd go to Acapulco. And I've always been interested in Mexico. But uh, I'm really glad that I had a chance to at least get an introductory uh, course on what's going on south of the border. And I, uh, I love it, man. My advice to anybody is to turn off your TV and read. So, uh, this is, you know, I think this is a 1979 copy. I got this book off a used book website, but I love Fahrenbach. His writing is so good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I read it.